Hello everyone, my name is Shlomi Dayan from Israel and I am a full stack developer for quite some time now, uh, developing applications and software solutions in all sorts of platforms, mostly web development. And I have recently discovered the beauty and simplicity of Google Chrome extension development and like to share with you guys uh, my first small extension I developed uh, this week for uh, Microsoft Planner web application. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. Um, Microsoft Planner, uh, <clears throat> as you can see, it's, it's right here in my browser. Uh, I'll give a short background. Microsoft Planner is a project management application developed by Microsoft that allows teams to create, assign, and organize work and tasks visually. With this app, companies can better facilitate teamwork as well as progress visibility and coordination. This is the official definition from Microsoft. Uh, it's available as part of the Office 365 subscription for businesses and organizations. Okay, so this is Microsoft Planner, but for those of you who don't, um, uh, or doesn't familiar with it or didn't use it before, this video might be irrelevant, but if you're managing any uh, projects in your organizations, I highly recommend you to check out this app. Some people like to manage their tasks the old fashioned way using uh, Excel or uh, MS Project, which is one of the most popular uh, software from Office. Uh, but I think that Planner is very intuitive, and very easy to use. It also integrates with your Active Directory users. Uh, your domain users, and it's online, so no need to work with files and updates to tasks from anywhere. Basically, it's very easy. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not going to show you how Planner works since the assumption is that you're already familiar with it and working with it, but I'd like to talk to you about a small issue, or should I say a missing feature that I ran into while working with Planner on a daily basis. And it turns out that this issue is disturbing uh, uh, to a lot of users worldwide. So I also read some complaints and feedbacks uh, about this issue in Microsoft communities and forums, but there is no available solution at the moment uh, uh, for this. So this is the planner homepage and I have created a new plan which has uh, uh, two uh, team members as you can see here and um, I also added some tasks you see I have like this task uh, called apples uh, and uh, I have a checklist that says uh, do one do two I can add attachments I can set the task uh, status I can uh, set the start date, the due date, I can set the priority for these tasks. Um, I can comment this task, we can actually like uh, run a chat here uh, inside the task. I can set the label for the task. And uh, as you can see, I have a few tasks here. And, and the thing is that the default view, when you go inside the planner, as you can see, I can, copy this link and I will paste it here and I'll say that and I'll go again and using the link I'll go to the plan as you can see the default view I get is the, the board view which groups my tasks according to the, the bucket view so Microsoft gives you uh, the, the, the option to uh, set to group your tasks according to a few properties. I can do it using assign to, which is, as you can probably see, it's a lot more comfortable. Uh, I can see here that I have a few tasks. I can see that uh, uh, my friend have a few tasks. I can also set it by progress. And now I can see uh, the tasks uh, status. I can see if it started in progress, if it's completed. It's, uh, I believe you agree that uh, it's much more easy to see the, and track the, the work here uh, using the, this view, or I can see the due date, 
I can uh, group by labels, which is very nice. Uh, as you can see, you can set the labels yourself. And I, I did some research in POC, high priority for the red color, and then it also colors your tasks um, uh, according to the label color, which is nice. It's also a small extension, but this is out of scope. Um, I can set by priority, which is very useful. Uh, so uh, the, the thing is that I prefer to uh, group my uh, tasks according to the label view, okay? And this way I can like move my, my uh, tasks from uh, high priority to medium priority. I can set, uh, do all kinds of things here and it's much more easy for me to manage uh, my, my, me, myself and my team work. And, uh, and the issue is that uh, as soon as I uh, working on a task and then I close planner, okay, I'll copy this again. I close planner and uh, open it again. And then as you can see, it defaults back to the group by bucket view, which is pretty annoying because I prefer to see it uh, in the labels view. So what I'm doing, I also, every time, every time I go back to the planner, I need to click on the group by, by group by uh, button and then group my tasks according to my prefer, my preference, which is the, the group by labels view. So this is pretty annoying because as you can see, I can hit the refresh. Okay. Oops. It goes back to the bucket view. So. What I did is um, while searching for a, a way to set this to, to a default view, uh, I found out that Microsoft uh, did not enable this feature. There is no option to set the default group by uh, option. And every time you go back, you just need to go and group by uh, the, the, your uh, uh, selection. As you can see here, there is the Microsoft community. A lot of people ask about this, like this guy says, this is just a minor thing, but I'd have, I'd like to have the, uh, have my tasks grouped by default due date. Some other people said they prefer the, uh, by progress, priority, you name it. So uh, an official uh, answer from Microsoft says there is no related function to set the default group by option in planner and this is an old this is from uh, 28 2018 but it's this feature is not enabled yet which is pretty uh strange that microsoft i mean this small thing they did not implement it yet but it can happen so as you can see you have like you, there, in this uh, thread you have this 368 uh, uh, votes for this uh, issue to be solved, but it didn't. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you uh, a, a Chrome extension I have developed. It's available in the Chrome Web Store. Okay, as you can see, I'll group by my the labels, and which is my preferred view, and uh, I'll go to the Chrome Web Store and search for the Planner default view extension and this this one right here it's a very small extension i didn't uh, i just uh, published it like yesterday um and i will add this to my chrome okay this this it's available from the chrome web store you can just go and add it to your uh, browser you have this nice small icon right here and going back to the planner i can open the the extension Let's say I want to, uh, my labels, I want to group my uh, uh, tasks according to labels, as I showed you before, and I will close this. And then if I refresh the browser, as you can see, it goes back, it automatically uh, group my tasks according to the labels view as I selected in the, in my extension. Okay. I can also select like, let's say progress. Okay. So in this case, it will uh, group my tasks according to progress from the extension. The extension uh, does that uh, by itself. And if I refresh the page, you can see that it goes back to the default view I have selected. 
Okay, so this is the extension. You're uh, welcome to uh, add this to your browser. It's available in, in Chrome Web Store. Uh, I'll be happy to get some feedbacks from you. Uh, you can check out the link to the uh, to the extension in the video. Okay, in the in the post, I also put this in the post, and also you can check this out in the in the details below. Um, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening, and uh, happy coding.